Alright, welcome back to the video to the tutorial series on first person shooters and helping you make different things and different different neat things. In the last tutorial video, we added an ammo system. As you can see in the bottom right corner, we also added the ammo count to the HUD, and we can fire off a certain number of fire shots. We can't fire once our it hits zero. We can reload the weapon and then we can fire again. Once the max ammo, which is that purple value there at the bottom, that nice little 75 hit zero, we can't reload and we can't fire anymore as long as once our ammo, which is the six there, is at zero. So both at zero, we can't fire anymore. We also have our health bar up there. So in this video, we're going to take and figure out a way to do pickups. That way we can continue to have our ammo and we can actually gain health. So to help show that, I'm going to change one little value real quick. I'm going to go in here to my blueprints and my first person character. And I'm going to change my ammo or my health. Okay. I want to show my health at, let's say, 15. Okay. So if we play it, we see we have a nice, very small bar. Okay. I did um, actually make a couple of things, nothing super fancy. In the last vid or between the last video and this one I made me a nice little ammo crate here nothing special just a 3ds Mac mesh 3ds max mesh that I had made and imported in and I also made a little health capsule nothing fancy just imported that in as well okay so those are what we're going to use to be our health and our ammo so we're going to get started with this First thing we're going to do is we're going to make the health one. Okay, so I'm going to, double, I'm going to right click on my small med st static mesh. I'm going to go right here to asset actions and create blueprint using this. It's in the same location in 4.6.1. I want to keep it under blueprints and we're going to call this health pickup. Okay, let that go ahead and create itself real quick. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have to tell, give this thing a collision box. Because without a collision box, our character will never be able to pick it up. So the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make the collision box. Now, this is one of the things that differ between 4.61 and 4.75. In 4.61, you just had, you'd click on the add component, you type in box, and bam, there it is. But you'll notice in this one, we have several different things with the, the box symbol next to it. So there are cubes. And then we have an actual box collision. So we just select the box collision. Name it uh, Pickup Radius. It's not a radius because it's not a circle, but it still gives the idea. All right, go ahead and just position that. Yeah, that'll be fine. And we'll go back to perspective, make it a little bit bigger so we can, our character can see it and pick it up, or can pick it up a little easier than having to walk right on top of it. Okay, and that's literally all you have to do for that part. So the rest of what we get to do is all in the graph. And you can see right here we have all our graph settings, and this is 4.7 settings. 4.6 has them up in the corner. You just click, click and select graph. So you click on the graph, and then you'll notice that if you're looking at a 4.6 window, there's nothing there. It's a blank graph. But if it's a 4.7, you have these three nodes right here. You don't need them, so go ahead and delete them out. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to select our pickup radius here. Okay. Now, if you select the pickup radius, you're going to see in the details panel, if you're in 4.6, you'll actually see under the events, It'll be a drop down. It'll say add event, and then it'll be a drop down thing you can select from. But in 4.7, you actually have the not all of them listed right there. You just click on the add symbol. So we're looking for an on component begin overlap. So we're going to add that to the stage, or not to the stage, but to our event graph. All right. Now, what do we want to? Sorry, what do we want to update? We only want this to activate if it's a certain actor walking through this pickup. We don't want the NPCs to be able to pick up. We don't want the enemies to be able to pick up health. So we only want a certain thing. And we're also going to have to call variables from our player controller or from our player. So we're going to have to do drag off of other actors and do a cast to 
and then whatever your first person character blueprint is called you want to cast to that in this case this is the default system or the default template so it's the first person character in 6.1 or in 4.6.1 it's just FPP or if you have your own personal project it's whatever you've named your character class now off of that I like to promote things to variables so I can keep track of stuff. So I just hit char, and I don't have a bunch of random lines just flying all over the place. Now, one thing we're going to see here that is different from 4.6 to 4.7 is this nice little node right here. This node works the same as a git node. If I was to drag this out and hit git, it this little bubble and this little node right here are the exact do the exact same thing. However, I still prefer this system. That way I can control what's being pulled and where it's all coming from. So we're going to add in some health here. And let me deal with this real fast. Okay. So we need to get the we need to get a couple of values okay first thing we need to get is we need to get the current health because we are doing um, did we not so that is first person so, get health. ah get health okay probably typed something in wrong my other program is called current health because I was working on a game with it and then we're going to want to take this health and we're going to want to test if it's equal. And I'm going to have to test my spelling as well. Okay, we want to test to see if it's equal to our maximum. Now what this is going to allow us to do is to see if we are at a maximum health. If we are, we're not going to pick this thing up. It's actually going to block us and stop us from being able to pick it up. If, it, if we are not at 100, 100 health, if we are not at max health, then we're going to be able to pick it up. So we can connect that up. We do that by making a branch. Connect that to the condition. Okay. Now, if it's true, again, we're doing nothing to it. But if it's false, we need to know how much health are we giving. Are we giving the maximum health that this pickup can give? Or are we only giving like half of it, a quarter of it, uh, a third of it? Are we giving one health from it? So we're going to drag off the false and we're going to do another branch. All right. Now this branch's condition is going to be slightly different. We are going to still get the, we're still going to get these two values. So we'll go ahead and copy and paste those just to have them down here. But we also need to make a variable in here. We're going to call this health as well. And it's going to be a float. Um, this could break connections. Oh, because I already have one in there called health. So just ignore that and we're going to rename this to uh, health pickup. There we go. Now we won't have any issues with it. So we'll change that to a float. We do not need to make this editable uh, right now because it'll never change. But um, in fact, I will go ahead and make it editable and I'll show you why here in a minute. So we go ahead and we drop that out and we go ahead and we get the information from that. We're going to leave it zero to it for now and I'll show you why. Okay, we're going to do an add, and then we're going to do a greater than or equal to, and we're going to type in 100 here as well. Okay, we want to know, well, adding whatever amount of health this pickup's going to give us to our current health, is it going to put us over 100? Because we don't want to try and have our progress bar where we only have a maximum of 100 health try to show us a 125, for example. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we are going to take and tell it what to do depending upon these two things. So we're going to drag our character, save variable out again. We are going to set health, and I'm just going to control C, control V, connect both those. We're going to connect one to the true, one to the false. Okay. Now, if it's, then we're going to actually do this, destroy actor. Because if we can pick this up, we don't want it to be there again for us to be able to pick up later. So we're going to actually destroy the actor. We're going to destroy this health pickup so that we don't see it anymore. 
All right. So now we need to take and get our copy this. We're going to get the maximum health that we can have. So we need our max health. We're going to get it. We are going to clamp it. Okay. So we're going to drag off of this. We're going to do a clamp. So we're going to clamp float. We want to connect that to max, not to the value. What we're connecting to the value is the result from the addition of these two variables here. Okay. The maximum that we'll ever clamp is going to be whatever our maximum health is. Okay, so then we go up and we connect that to that. We're going to do the same thing. So we grab the two values. We can control C and just tag them right there. Control V. Or not, because apparently I can't copy them. There we go. All right, there we go. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make a clamp. We're going to float them. We're still going to remove the value, but this time we're just going to type in what we want the value to be at. So it's going to be at the max, and it's going to be 100. So we can go down to that. Go ahead and do that, and save it. So now I'll give you a quick second. I'll drag this over here so that I can... Um, okay, I don't know what that's doing over there, but all right and give you a chance to look at that here real quick. My OCD is kicking in, just forgive me. Okay, so now that we have that set, we save, we compile. Alright, we go ahead and close that out. So now we can take, go up here to our blueprints, and we have our health pickup. We can drag this out in the world pick it up, hit the end END key, make sure it's on the ground. And remember when I said we're going to set that to public and I'd show you why? Well, here's why. By setting that to editable to public, we can actually, when we drop it, we can set its value of pickup. So let's say this one here gives you 25. All right, let's copy that another one over here and let's say this one gives you 50. Copy another one over here and not stuck in a block. This one gives you an autosave apparently. You can disable the autosave feature if you want to, but with Unreal Engine crashing as often as it does, I just leave mine on. So now we have three health pickups. We can actually play the game. We can run on down here and if we pick up this one, you can see we gained a little bit of a bar. We pick up this one, we gain a lot of a bar. We pick up this one, we gain the whole bar. So now we're at a full hundred health and if I had a fourth one plugged in in there we actually would not be able to pick it up at all. So now that we've done that we're going to do the ammo one real quick. It's the exact same thing so we can just go in we can go to add, go to that, put it in the thing, just leave it ammo creator whatever yours is named and go through all this real quick drag this back out now so I can actually see. Okay, let's go 64. Okay. 64, 128, 128. There we go. That's a big enough block. I mean, you may not want yours that big. You may want yours as big as the block it's, or as the item itself. You may want it bigger than this for whatever you may be doing with it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and I am going to just make this really simple. And I'm going to pause the video, and I am going to go ahead and do all of this, and then I'll show you what I did. It's the exact same thing, though, as doing the health. It's just instead of doing floats, you deal with integers because of max health and, and floats. So I shall return. And... All right, so here we are. We have the setup going. A uh, couple of th key points here you want to make sure, unlike in the ammo or the health one, where we had used... Apparently not that one, but Blueprint's health. Where we had used our the actual current health that we had, 
In this one, we want to use the max ammo. Or you can use the regular ammo if you want. I use the max ammo because I want the max ammo to be full, but not the clip we're actually using. Because I want you to have to refill, you know, like change the clip out and all. So there's that. And that's what we changed with it. The only thing we changed was instead of like regular health, we got the max ammo. So we show you through here. Okay, so now we have all that. All right. And again, I've made my variable ammo grabbed in this case, made it editable, didn't set it to anything. So now we're going to go ahead and go back into the map, and we're going to place a couple of these. Hit the end key just to make sure that we have them on the ground. All right. And let's see, this one adds, say each adds 15. Because normally your ammo counts are going to be about the same. So each one adds a clip worth of ammunition. Okay. We'll put a couple more of these in just to help show off the put this at 25 and this one at 25 just to help show off the inability to pick them up and stuff so go ahead and save your map go ahead and play let's go ahead and walk on down here real fast we'll pick up that that and let's say we'll pick up this bigger one here as you can see we can't walk into it we can't pick it up I can't pick this one up either. I cannot pick up this ammo crate because I'm at max ammo. If I shoot off ammo, I still can't pick it up. But if I hit the R to reload, I can then pick it up. It didn't add my max ammo. Why did it not add my max ammo? Well, let's take a look and see what's going on here. Ah, okay. You don't need, when dealing with these, you don't need all of this. You can just set this to the maximum ammo count and then just actually connect that to that. Alright, so go ahead and show that off again. Alright, can't pick it up. We hit 83, we pick it up, now we're at 90. We fire it off, fire a couple times. All right, so now we're at 55. We pick up an ammo crate. We didn't gain the proper amount. Oh, we gained ammo that time, and we gained ammo that time. Did I just not give that one? Ah, uh, that one didn't have an ammo value, so we couldn't gain ammo if we didn't have the ammo to gain. But it still showed that with the other two, what we were doing, it gave us the the 15 amount, the 15 ammo that we had to begin with. So that'll be it for this video. Go ahead and save your maps now. That way you have them all set up. And in the next video we are going to cover probably some fall damage. That's one of the biggest things in first person shooters or any game. You know, you have to have your fall damage and that'll help us show off the, the healing and stuff like that. So we'll get all of that set up in the next video. I'll look forward to seeing you there and have fun.